Welcome back. It's time for us to head into Elisa's room. Or at least try to head into Elisa's room and have a word with Elisa and Fee. I think this is Elisa's room. Knock. It's me, Rain. Can I come in? Oh, hey, it's Rain. Of course. Wow. So this is your room, huh? It's a lot bigger than I would have guessed. Really nice and tidy, too. Bit spartan. I like the view from the window. Honestly. Were you raised in a barn? I just roam around a girl's room checking everything out. Whoops, sorry. Though these days my mother is the only one who even uses this floor. There's so much space. Must feel pretty lonely having it all to herself. Elisa? Just a passing thought. Are you nervous because there's a boy in your room? I can always find somewhere else. No, it's fine, don't leave. I mean, yeah, it's the first time a guy's been in my room, but... Hey, you tricked me into admitting that. I didn't ask you to say anything. <laughs> don't fight, you two. That was it? Oh, all right. This is a nice room. Great view, too. And the windows are even bulletproof. Should get a good night's sleep here. I don't really think that's something you need to worry about. Like, yeah, yeah, worry about. Well, seeing as we'll be spending a few nights here, might as well start getting things set up. You don't need to volunteer to help, you know. We do have Sharon on the payroll for housekeeping. <laughs> I know. Let's play some Blade of Elisa. Let's get started. Yes, indeed. Go on, draw a card. That's a lot of mirror and bolts. After you then. I'll see score. We better draw again. Go for it. After you then. After you. I'll see score. We better draw again. Again? Looks like I'm going first. Bolt. I'm gonna bolt on that. All right. Is that something like go with that? Bolt. Right then. Bolt. Ugh, now you've done it. Bolt. Ugh, now you've done it. Mirror. What? You can't do that. Just did. Mirror. What? You can't do that. I just did. What? You can't do that. You know what? Yes, I can. Uh, one more game. Nope. Well, let's 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 go with Fee as well. Screw it. Let the battle begin. Indubitably. We draw here, right? I suppose. Round first. Take this. All right, two. Three. Another three. And a four. And a bolt. Ouch. And a bolt. Ouch. Ouch. Take this. Crap. Mm-hmm. Mirror. Crap. Like I win. Mm, guess I lost. Yeah. Lovely. That's that sorted. Where now? It's like, guys, who's spoken to everyone at this point. G guys? Hello? But... I've spoken to everyone. Where else must I go? Sharon knows something. Maybe I should see if she'll tell me anything. Can't hurt to try. Din, 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 din. 
Oh, Master Jean, is there something I can help you with? Perhaps you'd like to wash your back, but want some help with those hard-to-reach spots. Not to worry, I'm here to help. Uh, I think I'll pass. Actually, Sharon, uh, is Elisa's mother really alright? <laughs> There's no need to worry about the chairman. It's not as though she's wrestling with some abnormally large crisis or anything like that. I'm afraid I'm not at liberty to discuss the specifics with you. I understand that. But I can't help but think about that quarrel between the provincial army and the rump we saw this evening. Guessing the reason she couldn't make it is related to that somehow. Triple dot. <laughs> the way you like to just throw potential theories out there reminds me of Lady Sarah. Yeah, you can't just throw out random theories and see what stinks. It's ludicrous. Perhaps that's thanks to her guidance as your instructor. I'm not really sure about that. But your lack of denial tells me I'm on the right track. <laughs> you may interpret it however you see fit. However, I'd like to reassure you that there's no need for you to worry about the chairman. I'd much rather see you direct your concern toward Lady Elisa. Alright. Sorry, I didn't mean to bother you. And don't worry, Masterine. A maid must always be available to serve guests. Still, are you certain you don't feel like a rejuvenating back scrap? I'd be happy to give you a stimulating massage, too, if that's your wish. Stimulating? Uh, I mean, I'm a okay. Uh, thank you. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. You ought to direct your concern toward Lady Elisa. This might prove to be an opportune chance for you all. After all, opportune for what? Oh my. Anissa, wonder what she's doing. Maybe I should go see. But first, we need to take this opportunity to go play some more b b b b blade I'm not going to hold back. Never mind, Mango. Mm. Well, Same plan as before. Like we're getting, we're getting like these cards first. that are just working out nicely for us at the moment, really. We're even. We'll have to redraw. I will. It looks like you're up first. I want to try and hold on to my bigger ones, so... Now you've done it! Thank you... Bolt! Alright, Bolt. Now you've done it! Ah, oh, crap! Now you've done it! Bolt! Ah, oh, crap! Mirror! No, this isn't this is the test now. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Looks like I win this time. So close. Five. That's why I'm doing it for these. It's like, may as well just try and top these up at the moment. Crow's one, I really need to get stuff sorted for him. Oh, what's Oh, they've moved. Means I'll have stuff to say. It looks like Elisa's got something on her mind. I wonder if the chairman's sudden change of plans has something to do with what happened earlier. You noticed too. Of course it did. I could practically see it on her face. My guess is that something is going down in Roa. Something big. Hmm, maybe we should take some time here and there tomorrow to look into it. I think that'd be good. Something big's going down here in Roa. That's the feeling I get anyway. Don't know if there's anything we can do about it. But it wouldn't hurt to look into tomorrow. If we get the chanch. Chanch. The chanch. Forget this All right, let's get started. Go on, draw a card. You're first. Am I? Same score? Gotta redraw. I'm up first. Same score? Gotta redraw. I'm up first. Same, Same score? score? Gotta redraw. Gonna redraw. I'm up first. It's gotta be that. Take this. 
Not bad. <laughs> Not bad. You fell for it. Fell for what? You fell for it. Really? You're using mirror on that? Okay. No, oh, seriously? You fell for it. Bolt then. <laughs> Not bad. Good luck getting more than... Yeah, it's like the best you could get was that. So it's like... Oh man, I lost? Yep. Just need yours up. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's go speak to Elliot. Yo, Elliot. Old finished brainstorming ideas for the concert. Yep, just about. Irene, aren't you worried about what happened earlier? Of course I am. The Rump and the provincial armies have never been on great terms. But driving armored cars out onto the city streets? I can't help but get the feeling that there's a lot going on behind the scenes that we don't know about. You think we could look into it a little tomorrow if we get a chance? I think Elisa's really been worried about it too. Yeah. Get a feeling there's something going on behind the scenes that caused the whole argument earlier. Hope we can learn a little more about what's going on. I know Elisa seems pretty worried about it. <laughs> Go easy on me, okay? Okay then, let's draw! Looks like you're up first. Damn it. Not got many, 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 many good cards at the moment. Hmm. Bolt! Because that's the issue there, it's like... Gotta try and force your hand. Bolt! 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 Jeez! Really? You're playing that now? Mirror! Ooh. <laughs> yeah. I win! Yeah, screw you anyway. Are you level 5? It doesn't really matter. I just want to make sure we top everyone up that we can. Mango is pretty close. It's Crow and Millium I need to get up, really. Perhaps it's just me, but does the chairman's sudden cancellation not strike you as slightly out of character? Considering how much of a multitasking virtuoso she is, you expect her schedule to have the weight of law. So it seems unusual that she suddenly cancelled her dinner plans with us. It's not just you. Thought the same thing. Concerned that something out of the ordinary came up. Can only hope tomorrow brings us some hint as to what happened. Sounds like he's worried about Elisa. Concerned that something out of the ordinary came up that forced the chairman to cancel her dinner plans with us. Can only hope tomorrow brings some hint as to what happened. Right, where is Fee now then? I guess Elisa's gonna be there. She was right in front of me, just didn't even notice. What is what? She's staring at a glass of water. Elisa? N no, Reen. She said she was going uh, out onto the terrace. Huh? Maybe she really does have something weighing on her mind then. That's true. We should do what we can for her. We're a team, after all. Yeah. You're right. He's really changed. Still remember how she was at the start of the year. Guess that's true of everyone in Class 7, though. Lisa went out onto the terrace. Maybe you should go check on her. Why, why does it have to be me? Why can't you do it? Jeez. Hello, Lisa! <sighs> hey, Lisa. Oh, it's you. Sorry, were you worried? A little, yeah. Seeing you like that just kind of reminded me of that night in Nord. Oh, right. Ugh, oh, I'm so pathetic. I keep going on about how I'm going to be independent, but then I get all worked up over something as trivial as this. Seeing the city from above at night is really something, though. And to think, you got to take in a beautiful view like this every night growing up. Yeah, I guess so. It used to be my grandfather, my father, and my mother here. Then after my father died, Sharon joined us. 
but through the years, my family has always enjoyed seeing the lighted windows of Ruhr at night. Something that never changed, huh? I guess it is to you what Ymir's mountains are to me. <laughs> Maybe every family has something like that. Still, first my grandfather left. And now Sharon and I aren't here most of the time either. Mother just stays here all on her own. Every time I think of that, I just feel like crying. It breaks my heart. I can't understand why she chooses to be so alone. I thought so. You're not just angry at her then. <laughs> Well, if she gets under my skin, that's nothing new. But if I was in her place, I don't know how I'd cope. I couldn't live like she does, losing herself in her work all alone with no friends or loved ones by her side. She wasn't like that before, back when my dad was still alive. Adorable little... I don't say baby, I'm like kid, Elisa. She's always been a career woman, but... Back then, she was kind. Funny. She had this warmth, you know? But ever since Dad passed away, she hasn't been the same. Work became her life. She pushed Grandfather out as chairman, all for what? More work? I've never seen her indulge herself. Not even once. If she isn't dining with some business partner, she eats nutrition bars instead of meals. Sharon scolds her for it, but... That's how she is, and that's why I'm scared. I don't want life to just pass her by. That's really sweet, Elisa. Uh, where did that come from? You're always looking out for the people in your life. Even when they get on your nerves, you still care about them. It's like how you and I were at first, or how you were with Laura and Fee. Heck, I still remember how you told me off for hurting my sister's feelings. You've been keeping an eye out for Milliam all this time, too. And you should know that we're all really grateful to you for it. Especially me. I'm worried about what's happening here in Ruhr, too. This is your home, and your mother might be caught up in whatever's going on. I think we should look into it. What do you say? What? But with all our field study tasks, where would we find the time? Why not do it while we're out handling those? Making some headway is always better than making none, right? I mean, I'm not the only one who feels this way. Everyone else does too. Fee cares. So does Elliot. Machias does too. Even Crow's been concerned about you. We can use our time in the city to poke around and find out more about what's going on. You know, kind of like we always do. Well... If you say so, but I'll save the thanks for later. Hmm, I doubt Sharon will tell us anything, no matter how much we pester her. But I'll ask around and see if anyone I know has any idea what might be going on. It shouldn't be too late to give some of them a call at least. Alright, I'll leave the info gathering to you. Once we get our task list tomorrow, we can discuss how we want to do this. Alright. Anyway, I think I'm going to start calling my contacts. <laughs> oh, and one more thing. If I were you, I wouldn't go around stroking girls' heads like that. I mean, you don't just go whispering sweet nothings into any girl's ear, do you? This isn't so different, really. Huh? Oh, I guess you're right. Sorry, it's something I always did to my sister when she was feeling down. But now that you mention it, she did seem to resent it more as she got older. 
but when I stopped doing it, she called me insensitive and got all upset anyway. <sighs> I think your sister and I would have a lot to talk about. But anyway, I'll see you later. All right. Well, she seems like she's feeling better now. I just hope our efforts will turn up some good leads. So we're up to two now. Oh, I had the door then. Huh? Call functionality works here? Why would it not? I guess it would, seeing as we're right in the headquarters of the company that built these. Exactly. Maybe it's the instructor. Hello. Reen Schwarzer speaking. Oh, good. It went through. Glad I was able to get your number from Milliam. Is this... Captain Claire? It is. I apologize for calling so late. Are you free right now? Yeah. What's up? There's something important I'd like to discuss with you. But it's a matter best discussed in person. Would it be possible for you to meet me in the city? Sooner is preferable. Like, right now? Um, would this happen to be related to our field study? Technically speaking, yes. But with the provincial army on alert, traveling in a large group would draw too much suspicion. That's why I decided to contact you directly. You are the team leader. People keep saying that, but I never recall agreeing to it. But, sure, I guess. I'll head out right now. Where should I meet you? Go to the upper level. On the south side of the elevated walkway, you'll see a bar called F. F. She's called F. It's a quiet, upscale establishment. The perfect place for a private discussion. A bar called F on the south side of the upper level. Got it. I'll head there right away. I'll be waiting. I'm not on a schedule or anything, though, so there's no need to rush. You've got time. And by the way, I'd rather you didn't mention any of this to Elisa. Huh? Why? Because what I want to discuss with you happens to involve the Reinford Company. But I'll leave it to your discretion. Anyway, you know where to find me. It feels a bit cruel to keep only Elisa out of the loop. But it sounds like it's pretty important. I think it'd be better to go now and tell everyone else about it later. Let's go have a word with everyone again then. Oh yeah, this line sounds perfect for a rock song. I'll have to ask Crow what he thinks of that third stanza tomorrow. Yep, you're stuck on that stanza now, aren't you? Do 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 do. No, oh, Jenica's out. Nah, I'm chilling at Lisa's place right now. There's just something I wanted to ask her about. Am I checking in with Toa for me, George? Thanks. Okay, that over there. Went to the wrong door. There he is, still at the books. This room is so quiet and relaxing. No loud noises, no chatter, no bustle. Get my hint, leave. It's a perfect place to sit and think. All sorts of things were on the former chairman's mind. And he sat in here. They've only got one bit of dialogue at the moment, haven't they? Ding, dun, 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 dun. What's up, Fee? How come you got all your stuff out? Uh, I'm gonna take a bath. Sorry, let me get out now. Some point tonight. Even Fee's teasing me these days. Though getting ready for a nice soak doesn't sound like a bad idea. Looks like us girls are going in first. <laughs> oh, Masterine. <laughs> Have you decided? You'd like a full body massage after all? Uh, no, I, I mean, I mean, I shouldn't. There's no shame in being honest with yourself. I know that one day you'll cast your cares to the wind. But in the meantime, if you ever need me, just call out my name in your heart, and I'll come running to your side. 
That sounds more like a superhero than a maid. If there's anyone who could actually do that, it's Sharon. Please let me know if there's anything I can do for you. <laughs> Alright, so, Lisa's over there. Hi, Yuna. Sorry for calling so late. But there's something I wanted to ask you about. Yeah, I figured you might have some idea. <laughs> okay, so elevator. Head out. Huh. I need to leave, but I don't want to leave the front door unlocked. But if I ask someone to lock up behind me, they'll want to know where I'm going. I guess I might have to tell Elisa where I'm going after all. Will you be stepping out? Uh, Sh Sharon? I couldn't even tell she was there. How the bloody, da he bl bl bloody hell did you get here? <laughs> There's no need to explain. That glimmer in your eyes tells me all I need to know. Not to worry, Master Reen. Your secret's safe with me. So enjoy your night to the fullest. Wait, what? You have a date with a fetching young lady, don't you? I'll make sure no one notices your absence, especially my lady. Just be certain you're back by morning. I assure you, I'm not that lucky. I just got word that this acquaintance of mine was visiting Ruhr. And they wanted to catch up a bit, so I was going to slip out and see them for a little while. <laughs> Very well then, I'll lock up behind you. I'd also be glad to help you build an ironclad alibi. No one would think twice, even if you were to stay out all night. I appreciate the thought, but I don't think that'll be necessary. Anyway, I'll be back later. Of course. Take care. No, we're going to go see Claire. Not take Claire. What? Just leave everything to me. I'll attend to your every need. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. See, there, 24. Hmm. Hmm, I say. It's past nine already, but I still see quite a few people working. I guess it comes with the territory, working for the world's largest industrial manufacturer. Going to need to go meet Captain Claire before going back. Just want to check what floor we're going on. All right, very well. Bing bong! Oh, it's just a guy. What was that? That's just a guy, it's fine. Don't worry. It's like I know people will be like, whoa, 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 whoa! Whoops. I thought so. Hey! Why are you running away? I'm surprised you noticed me. I was trying pretty hard to be stealthy. <sighs> How long were you hiding there? Wait, have you been trailing me ever since I left the penthouse? Well, I saw you slip out. So, where are you going? Where are we going? Are you really headed out for a late night romantic rendezvous? <sighs> what kinds of lies has Sharon been feeding you anyway? Okay, here's what's up. Reen explained how Captain Claire had called him and asked him to come out for a meeting. That totally sounds like a rendezvous. Sorry, I shouldn't have interfered. Whoa, whoa, it's not like that. As far as you know. <sighs> well, you know everything I know about it now. Why don't you come too? You sure? No reason not to. It sounded like whatever info she's got has something to do with our field study. And honestly, I wasn't all that keen on having a one-on-one -on -one with a military officer to begin with. Gotcha. But first, I want to walk around a bit. After we've been walking around all day? Whenever I come to a new city, 
I always like to get a feel for what it's like during the day and the night. You want to do the rounds? I feel kind of uneasy if I don't. Oh, right. It must be a Jaeger thing. Or a Bracer thing. Or an SSS thing. Or a Class 7 thing. Alright, I'll join you for a little stroll. I don't want to keep the captain waiting too long, though. Will once around town be enough? That'll be fine. Okay, let's roll. Aping trees by two. V joined the party. See about going back in, though. Yes, I can. I was worried I won't be able to do that. Right, so let's end this part here, then. In the next part, we'll do that little stroll around the town with Fee that she wanted to do. And then we'll head off to F. So ta-ta for now.